Right, fellow shrimps, um, welcome back to Detroit Become Human. I can't stay away from this game because I can't stay away from Connor. I am addicted. I am obsessed. Um, I hold my hands up. Uh, Jory, try me. I, I just can't. I just can't. And we know that it's Connor's chapter next because this chapter is going to be the Connor, the Connor's sex club chapter. What a great sentence. What a great sentence that I was just able to say there. Um, but yeah, we're going into a Cylon club. So yeah, <laughs> I, I didn't make the storyline, okay? The sexiest androids. Look, the sexiest androids about to get out the car. So here we go. <laughs> oh, it was like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. <laughs> Are you sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Okay, let's get going. I'm gonna turn my lights down because I'm, I'm going into a dark club and my room is so freaking bright. I need to be able to see Connor in all of his beautiful detail, you know? So let's just turn these down a little bit. That's better. That's better. <laughs> oh, my software instability. What? I don't really understand what it means when it says that because like when I get to the end screen of my little flow chart, it will, it will like say this, but it never gives me a start. Like it doesn't tell me what my stat for it is, you know? So like, you know? Um, I don't know how unstable he is. I know how unstable I am when I play this game, but is there anything else to explore? You guys said that sometimes- Sexiest androids in town. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. Wait, Hank, wait I know me. why you insisted on coming here. <laughs> you got caught, Connor. Oh god. These are the sexiest androids in town. They they do be looking sexy. Oh god. Lingerie everywhere. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well this part of the game was just made for Smash Up Pass. Can I can I hang around here? Do I have to like rush ahead or can we spend a bit of time? Cause like, wait, what's going on with your face? What is this? Connor, the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Come in, Lieutenant. I got caught. I got caught by. <laughs> I literally got caught playing Smash or Fast by a cop. It's a bad star. It's a bad star. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that is obvious. Obvious smash. Also smash. I mean, they're the sexiest, they're the sexiest androids going. Smash, it's, it's a straight smash. Yeah, okay. We kind of knew that was coming, right? <laughs> I got caught in 4K. This is so awkward though. So what do you do? You, you just come in and then you just like give a number to the till and then you like buy that robot's time. Like record session. You can record the session and bring home like the freaking DVD. $19 for 60 minutes. Holy wow. That is cheap. Wow. Happy hour. Oh, it's because it's happy hour. That, that's so cheap. Like what? The future is hell. The future is actual hell. Like who, people aren't gonna form relationships. They're gonna come here and pay $19. Even just to chat with somebody for 60 minutes, that's cheaper than therapy. That's so much cheaper than therapy. A therapy can be like 50, 100 pounds, 200 pounds a session. People are just gonna be doing this instead, you know? Um, Some of them are out of their shells as well. Some of them have already been bought. Imagine coming in for like an Android that you'd kind of low-key fallen in love with and somebody else has like bought him or her, then that would just be like, not the one. But they've all got glitter on. They're very glittery androids. Am I still meant to be following Hank? Because I'm wanting to explore everything. There is a North model? Wait, which one's North? Is it this one? It won't let me like ID them. One of the ones at the entrance was, ah. Uh, 
I guess uh, we know her backstory then. I'd be mad if I was her as well. Oh God. Oh, not this guy. We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh yeah? Like wasting time. There's some pervert who uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> okay, I've chopped out dancing around the crime anyway, scene, Claire. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, I hate uh, this guy. I'm starting to stink of booze in here. Yeah, there's... <gasps> Night, Lieutenant. He's respectful, and he didn't bang into me. The game's a little bit low. Okay, let me switch over for you guys, sorry. Hopefully that's better. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I get really giddy when I play this game. I know it's like a serious and sad scene, but we still have to have like, you know, little banter moments. Okay. This is, did he kill his android as well? Diagnose or analyze? Let's do some analysis. <gasps> oh, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. No, he's not! I think I'm gonna puke again. We're gonna encourage that, Hank. Stop with that. Never discourage that behavior. That's the best feature of this whole model. Critically damaged, bio component critically damaged. Hmm. Okay, Android is examined. It says examine the victim, but I'm just gonna see if there's anything over here that's interesting. Choose choose your fantasy. Oh my gosh. My fantasy is is aircon that's not too cold. A good temperature. Like, I don't know what 75 degrees Fahrenheit is, but I'm thinking like 22, 23 degrees. That's really nice. That would be my fantasy. Also lighting that doesn't hurt my eyes because I've been quite prone to headaches recently. And whatever that rainbow drink is on the left. There we go. Um, oh, oh, some stuff going on here as well. Some towels. Some, what were they taking? That seems dodge. Some cool glasses and some champagne with one glass. You weren't even given the, the Android any champagne. Dude, dude, wait, you've just trapped me. Wait, no, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I'm trapped, Hank. Hank let me out. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Right, let's check out Lothario here. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? We've got Michael Graham. Um, I don't know what time it is now, so I can't tell you how long he's been dead, but it doesn't look like too long. He died of strangulation. Asphyxiation through strangulation. And are we pulling the quilt off? Why do we want to explore here? Oh, here. Okay. Uh, no sign of cardiac arrest. Heart attack was not the cause, cause of death. Oh, reconstruct. Nice. Okay, I like these. Victim was strangled. Oh, that's... Um, that's... Wait, was it strangled by the android? The android strangled it, but... And it's not on the floor here. Okay. Okay. Oh, we know what happened. Says... He didn't die of a heart attack. There's something else. Strangled. Yeah. There's something I I've not the got. Breathing. There's something I've not figured yeah, out yet. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. He's just told you he died of strangulation. Oh, here. <gasps> Ooh. Think you can read the android's memory. Maybe you can see what happened. Reactivation required. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's wow. badly damaged. That, um, if I can, it'll only that be robot for a is minute. very lucky. Maybe I know less. it's dead, but it's also lucky. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Oh. Oh, 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 no, oh, no. Try again, try again, Connor. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad. <gasps> oh, gee, okay. Oh, babes, calm down, calm down. Uh, we don't have... Oh, soothe. Calm down. Everything's all right. All we want is to know what happened. 
I need she's dead. The, oh, jeez. I don't know if I'm going to get an answer out of her. Fax. Tell me what happened. He started hitting me. Oh. Again. And again. I don't want to call her a murderer. No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. What? What model? What model was the other android? Did it look like you? <gasps> no, I didn't get the answer. That's his real life wife. Wow, what a brutal scene to do with her. So there was another android. At least I got some this info. over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leave in the room. Is there no cameras in this place? I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Search for android eyewitnesses. <gasps> Are they gonna tell him anything though? He's like, wow, I love my job. Thing? Came in maybe two, three times. Yeah, These you can get the really camera. You can record your sessions. Come in, do their business, and then go on their way. Oh, you need human fingerprints. What about the one that's just there? Can I ask him? Oh, he's too busy dancing. He's like, I ain't got no time for you. Should I just ask Hunk for help? But we lost a model two, three months back. Uh, I need your fingies. I need Excuse your fingies. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. I would so try to dance on a podium for 12 hours. I'd be like, so useless. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better <laughs> things to do. Please, No, Lieutenant. it's the fingies. Just trust me. I can't do it. Uh... He's not happy. He thinks I'm such a little, like, deviant. I'm not even deviant. 30 minute session costs 20 <gasps> Liars on the board! They said it was $19 for 60 minutes. This is not gonna look good on my expense account. Okay, so we're gonna question the robot. Delighted to meet you. Well, they are all glittery. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Connor's like... I'm learning new things today. Probe. Oh, we're doing it. Okay. Holy oh, shit. What the hell are you doing? <gasps> oh, this is cool. Blue haired Tracy headed towards the entrance. Anything else interesting in here? This guy's gonna buy. Oh, I can't go any further. Check, suspect, check next android. So we, they went towards the entrance. Oh my gosh, we're gonna rinse Hank's card, aren't they? You like the music they get. Um, We need to find the ones at the entrance, see if they saw it as well, right? It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. Uh. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Oh, jeez! Oh, gosh! Okay, I need somebody else who's... Where's the entrance? How did I get into this place? Which way did I go? I was too busy... Oh, who was dancing first? Was it this hey, way? what am I supposed to do with this one? Tell it you changed your mind. Should I try uh, uh, this one? Let's try this one. This better be... This better be... No. Oh, was it the wrong way? Is it the other side? I didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. Let me try this direction instead. Let's let's try this one. No, you're the same, right? <laughs> what about you? Can I ask Hank? Wait, I can't ask Hank about any of these. Wait, can I ask some of these ones? I can't ask him. Can I ask her? Wait, I can connect with him. Wait, let me try this girl. Let me try this girl. 
Because I think this is the entrance. Wow, she did not get to consent to that, did she? But it's, it's hard to see, to be honest. Oh! It turned back into the club. So it went back the other way. It went this way. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. Well, I know which way it went. Check them all. Then go for Lieutenant, it. Lieutenant, if you have a better idea, I'm all ears. There are androids everywhere. How are you going to tell which one saw Should the Tracy okay. with blue hair? If I, if I ask this one, I'll be able to find out if it went in here. I just need to find another android on its I'm path. trying my hardest, guys. I'm going as fast as I can. Oh, she was in a room. She saw nothing, right? Okay. Nah, nothing on that one. Oh god. You didn't Wait, see let's anything. try twelve. Let's try twelve. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my life. Yeah, career. literally, poor Hank. <laughs> I wonder if we can claim it as expenses. That guy was checking out all of them. No, she's not there. You didn't see anything. I made a mistake. Stop seeing me to state mistake, Connor. You're doing your best, babes. There. That's her, right? It turned into the red room. Okay, into the red room, guys. In here. What is the red room? Is that like VIP? Oh, I got access to VIP gun. Right, let's check this dancing dude. Doing some moves, but I can't see her. Nah, nothing on him. Nothing on him. No. He's just like, no. Let's try. Let's, let's try. try. This guy's got Spent a good. All this money and I'm still not having fun. <laughs> let's try this one. He's got a good view of the entrance. There. It turned into the blue room. Wait, what is the blue room? Is this a different room? In here? Oh, the music's getting epic. I'm on the right track. I'm on the right track. There's some more androids in here. Do you reckon it's in one of these rooms? I'm gonna check with this one, number 20. He's a preferred model of mine. Okay, what are you seeing? Stop looking at your feet. Anything? 20, you gave me nothing? No. 20, what the hell? 20. I lost its track again. Okay, 21, let's try you instead. There is a good amount of variation here. Something for everyone. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Let me get get me out of here. <laughs> get me out of here. Unless she's hiding in the corner of this room. I don't think it's that one. No. Wait, yeah, the janitor is an android. Can I do Spent that? Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. Nah, I can't do that. I can't I can't do the android. How much time have I got? Three minutes. Guys, we've got time. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Let's reduce our panic stations. Yeah, the janitor won't let me. He's like, nah, I'm I'm not included in this service. Poor Hank. How much has he spent at this point? Probably like $300. Oh, <gasps> she's there. Oh, <gasps> it hid in a room. The one next to the sign on the right of the sign. It's that one. It's this one. It says available, but it's not. It's a lion door. Okay, Hank. Have my back. Oh, Mass Effect music. It left the room. Oh, I thought it was about to kick off then. 21 gave us nothing and 20 gave us nothing. Who else can I check? I already checked 21. Where can I go now? Oh, wait, this Janet, I can't speak to. Oh, I couldn't connect to you before. This guy must be so confused. There. Oh, it went into a room with a red door. Through the staff door. Oh, we're screwed, I aren't we? Follow me. Oh, fucking A, this is crazy. 
It is quite mad. I'm with Hank on most things, to be honest. He's got a, a pretty good eye on the situation Wait. at all times. I'll take it from here. He's so protective of me. I love Hank. Oh god. It's there. It's there. Hank, be careful. Okay, get ready to react. Search the Oh, oh, there's a lot of them in here. Okay, Hank, go easy, babes. Go easy. Shit. We're too late. Not necessarily. Oh, wait, where are you going? What? Oh, stop looking at them. Hank, give me a sec, give me a sec. Let me just... I need to do some reconstructions. What's over here? There's something... There's glitter on the floor, maybe? You're going to do some... Yes. Yes, Connor. Yes, my boy. He does it so slowly. Imagine acting that out. Uh, is that the right one? Okay, now I just need to follow the blood trails, right? Okay, they're here. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's the evil ones. <laughs> no, Claire, stop reading tech addict. Just look at them. They get used till they break, and then they get tossed out. Oh, jeez, that's that is freaking awful. I I don't like this one bit. The whole sex club thing is definitely the grossest thing we've done in this game so far. Oh, <gasps> RA9. Where does the blue blood trail go now? Does it go out that door at the end? I keep getting trapped. Hank, you've trapped me. Hank, I literally can't get out of here. We're on a timed mission and you've trapped me in the freaking corner of the room. Hank, Hank, let me out. Am I not being timed? Can I read my magazine? I want to read my magazine so badly. Let's just, let's just skim read it. You know me, I love my magazine. I love it. I am timed? Am I not timed? The first immortals are among us. VR MMO PRG reaches a billion. Nano Android entering a patient's body and... People are fucking insane. They don't want Combat relationships anymore. Cells. Everybody just gets an Android. I'm glad he's like... Cook what you it, want. They screw when you want. You don't have to worry about how they feel. Exactly. Next thing you know, we're going to be extinct because everybody would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being. He's right, he's right. People would definitely choose this. I was thinking there's some good uses for androids because I feel like if... Oh, I'll, I'll talk about it at the end of the chapter. I don't wanna, I don't wanna spoil anything or ruin anything. Yeah, H Hank is always based. We say nothing out there. It's in these little clothes. Have they switched their clothes? Wait, what's that? Oh, it's where they wash the clothes? Punk babes, I'm coming up with nothing here. I'm trying. Maybe I just need to do some more lookies around here. This one, they're like rebooting. Is it hiding amongst the androids? Yeah, I'm trying to follow the blood. So like the blood is here and then it goes down in this way. Come on, cat. I'm trying, I'm trying. Wait, the blood ends here. There. We're leaving. Yes, I'm coming. It's there. Uh, 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 They're protecting it. Don't move. Uh, Oh god, that's the blue haired one! It's her! Oh god, there's something really disturbing about watching a man beat up a woman in a bikini. Sorry, he had to get slapped once. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh, I messed up twice! I got kicked in the. Does he even have them? Oh! Please don't die, Connor! <gasps> safe hunk, safe hunk, safe hunk. <clears throat> oh, she's <clears throat> honestly impressive. <clears throat> We 
We've got to get back to Hank! Oh, she's helping her. Oh no, what are they going to do to me? <gasps> oh, they're, they're holding hands, trying to escape. Quick, they're getting away! I want to kind of let them. Tracy. I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Was Hank? I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. Love? They say they love each other. I hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. Better this way. Hank liked that I spared them. Oh, that was such a good chapter. Oh, wow. That was so freaking good. Oh my gosh. The fight was actually hard. My brain was having an issue. Every time it said D, I was pressing S. I don't know why. Um, so we saw Connor get slapped quite a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry, Connor, but he had a lot on his mind there, didn't he? I think when they said love, he was shocked. Oh, that was such a good chapter. Okay, so this is the route that we took. <laughs> I was literally screaming in real life, like, <laughs> those models were so freaking pretty, by the way, so pretty. Um, let's see how many people took the route that we did. How many people spared them? 55%. How many of my friends did? Oh, only 50. 50% 50 shot them. Oh, whoa. Oh, there was something else to find there that I missed annoyingly. I almost, I think I almost failed that. I think Hank almost got annoyed and said, let's go. Wow. Okay, so the thought process I want is a finish at the end of the when I was chit chatting is I was obviously I can't stop thinking about this game, so I just bore Ali with details about it all the time. And I said if you'd been in like an abusive relationship, um and light a color that reminds me of Android. Blue. Um, if you'd been in an abusive relationship, I think you would definitely get like a lot of people would get the um you know the like the relationship android because like you can have a relationship with an android that's guaranteed to never hurt you which no human can promise to do you know so i feel like that was something that made me like pause to think but i was thinking like like love is so complicated like love for humans is really complicated like it's exciting, but it's also scary. It's brave, but it's also vulnerable. It's like, it can hurt, but it can also feel amazing. Like, I don't know if you can program a robot to feel love. And also everyone feels love differently, I think. Like everyone's shade of love, it's slightly different, you know? So do they love each other or is their programming just, I don't know, I still don't know. I still don't know. I still don't agree with um, having child androids for the sake of people who've like suffered a bereavement because the chance of them being misused is, is too high. I think the chance of like 
that entire sex club scene was misuse of androids for me massively um like i just think it's incredibly cruel to use something that way and that feels like where robots are going in real life which like disgusts me um but i think i can definitely understand why people would want a relationship with a robot that is programmed to never hurt them like i can totally understand that especially if you've been in a relationship where you have been hurt in that way you know connor seems very confused now he was like um really confused by that whole scene i'm really glad i spared them i didn't even want to chase them i was going to be happy to like not chase them to be honest but i wanted i wanted there to be like something that happened after so i chased them anyway but i'm really glad that i let them escape and i loved them how far were they like literally the minute instead of like just um just running away when she had the chance to blue head one she went instead and held the other one's hand i was like ah there's something more here there's definitely something more um, but they were, they were like, they were there th for each other through thick and thin, weren't they? I'm glad they've escaped. I really hope they get away as well. And I love that Hank agreed with me letting them go. Hank was disgusted by the sex club. We can definitely tell Hank has never been to a sex club and bought an android. Like, it is prostitution, isn't it? He's never done that because he was disgusted by the whole thing. And he didn't even like the idea that it would appear on his card. Um... So he agreed with us. Hank is a good person. He's a good person, you know? I hope he can expense it all through work though, because yeah, he spent a lot of money. <laughs> he spent, I made him spend a lot because I got it wrong quite a lot. <laughs> Bad Bambi, thank you so much for the bids. Oh, imagine if we could make them in The Sims. I don't know if you'd ever do them justice though. Uh, Lillian, thank you so much for the bids as well. Yeah, I'm a full on shrimp on this game. And she smells but we love her anyway. <laughs> Hollywood style, thank you so much for this 24 months in a row. Have some flowers. Hope you're doing well as well. Izzy, I'm so, so sorry I missed your raid. But welcome everyone from Izzy Stream that's still here. Thank you so much for the raid, Izzy. I hope you guys are enjoying Detroit Become Human. Gabby Gross, thank you so much for the six months in a row. Lily Bailey for the 10 months in a row. You excited to get back to Marcus? I think he might be next chapter because we've not played him in a little while. And Hungry Squirrel, thank you so much for the one, two, three, four, five gifted subs if you give to my hungry school make sure you say a big thank you in the chat and spooky pigeon and small lady can uh snail lady sorry can we welcome both of them to the peaches please okay shall we continue that was such a good chapter i can't believe 50 percent of my friends shot them i was like even though i couldn't press any other button properly somehow my fingers blindly made it to two to spare because i really wanted to spare them you know <gasps> it's not Ali's birthday anymore. It's November the 7th now. It's 1 a.m. Oh no, we're back with them. We're back with these guys. Luther is neutral towards me. Alice is family to me. <gasps> Can I share another random Alice thought I had? I've been overthinking this game to such a massive degree. When I made Alice spaghetti, the dad threw the table before she ever ate it. So she didn't have dinner that night. The next morning, I said, I'll go get you breakfast. I never got her breakfast. So Ali, Alice has never eaten on screen. Just a thought I was thinking when I was thinking of the spaghetti thing. I love that heads up display. That is, that is awesome. We, engine is on, gear is autom aut autonomous. Okay, a autonomous, yeah. Um, Where are we going? I don't even know. Can I speak to him? That's the destination. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Laco captured them. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. <gasps> what if it was a lie? Like Handmaid's Tale. Or just another trap. All I know is those androids believed it. Until Slacko killed them. Where is Detroit on a map? How north is it? Hey, Alice. It won't let me talk to Alice. So I'm going to keep speaking to this guy. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. She's never complained about being hungry. But then she... Counterpoint, she got cold. And they don't feel the cold, do they? Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Malfunction detected. No. 
obviously that would happen. Detroit is at the same latitude as New York. This doesn't look good. So it's not miles from the Canadian border, but it's not exactly close either, you know? It, it, to be fair, in a car it wouldn't Stay be too bad. Us. But on foot it would be very difficult. Especially in the um, snow. Can I say anything more to Luther? I really want him to be my friend, you know? I instinctively went to the back because it's an electric car and in, like, the front of the car is nothing in a Tesla, it's just a boot. Why am I, like, why am I supposed to know how to fix a car? It's a North State, okay. I mean, America's what so too big though, right? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. Oh, it's gosh. 30 degrees, Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Cairo. Oh, this is not good. Can't we just stay in the car? Can't we just come back tomorrow morning? Can I not fix the car? How is the car broken down? This is the future! Can I not do anything? Find shelter. Oh god, uh... What's that over there? Not that way. This way? What if they're not friendly to androids? Yeah, when they say 30 degrees, I'm like... I don't know what that means. Is it like minus five? I don't know. Pirate's Cove Amusement Park. That's not going to be open at this time of year, is it? Over there. Hi, Ali Pelly. Can we get some love in the chat for Ali, please? Have your two years flowers, Ali. Thank you. <laughs> Minus one. Okay, it's below freezing. Oh, why would you go to the creepy abandoned amusement park? Why would you ever do that? This is never a good idea. We need to find shelter. This we have to get out of the cold. Never a good idea. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Are we just leaving, Alice? Is that a body? Like, what is even up there? I hate that. Oh god, I hate abandoned amusement parks. This is where all of the horror films take place. Oh my gosh, what? What? Beware! It was an android. Danger always comes when least expected. Oh, is that a warning? Is that a warning? Oh god. Oh my god, what is that? What? Oh, are these androids just left in the cold? Did they just leave them? Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Jeez. They had a really little function, didn't they? Must be sick not feeling the cold. I'm actually so jealous. You are here. So we've got a pirate ship. A tavern! Wait, a tavern's a great idea. Let's go to the tavern. Just, it's completely opposite as it's behind me. Oh, she's there! He's carrying her! Oh, that's so cute. Look. She's getting carried by him. That's actually adorable. Right, let's go to the pub and wait for all this to blow over. Wait, I thought the tavern was here. This don't look like no tavern to me. Yeah, he's cute, isn't he? This place is falling apart. Yeah, it's not looking good. It's not gonna Carry be easy to find shelter. Wrong arm. Wait, is this a tavern? This looks tavern-like. Can I get in here? Look safe inside. How do I get in though? This is 
weird music. It's like. I don't know if it, is there anything else to explore? Or do I just try and get in here? Oh, creepy noises. Let's try getting in this. Rip, 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 rip. He's like, babes, no. This. Babes, no. <laughs> He's like, that was real cute, but... I am the strong android. You are the one with the cool pixie hair. Those are our roles. They're different to each other. Is he gonna kick it with his big strong leg? Wow. Here we go. He's very strong, guys. He's very strong. He's also very tall. Don't switch on the android. Don't switch on the android. Don't switch on the android. I don't think we'll find anything better. It's not great, babe. Settle in for the night. Stop saying babe. I get a fire gun. Oh yes! Somebody left me a magazine here. Oh my gosh. Uh, USS Iowa is missing. Last seen in the Arctic Sea. Oh no, that's the escalation of the Russian war, isn't it? Yeah, escalation. We must respond. This is bad. This is bad. Well, if there's a Android rebellion, you won't be able to uh, send over all of your Android soldiers because they won't fight for you. And an all Android band. Fans scream traditionalists weep. I think Frank would weep. Uh, Hank would weep too. Tip for music prize, no. Here for you, the latest Android boy band. I'll make the fire here. Wow. That way we won't be smoked out. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll help, I'll help, I'll help, sorry. I got distracted by my newspapers. Do I need to make this place like a bit warmer? What's this little thing say? Restaurant. I don't want that to suddenly start moving because I will freak out. Is it safe outside? Yeah, Luther better not be like one of these characters that they introduce you to just to break your heart when they kill them, you know? You better be a wrong a ride for the long run. Oh, I'm getting things to burn. Look how useful I am. Two posture checks, thank you. Anything else over here? Any rum me arties? Look, if there's snow coming in, she's gonna die in here. She will literally just die in here. It's too cold for humans. Set up a little bed for her. Okay, there we go. Alice? Oh, she's looking at the picture of her family. Check Luther's bag. Okay. Check the gun or leave. Oh God, this feels like quite a big decision. At least we know he's got one now. I think that was an important piece of information to know, you know? I've got to talk to Alice. Can I talk to Luther? No, nah, he's just, he's just vibing next to this dead plant. Okay, let's talk to Alice instead. She's looking at the family. We can be a family. Like them someday? Optimistic, realistic, sincere. I'm gonna be optimistic. Once we cross the border, we can start over. She just wants to hear nice things. To school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Are they gonna just let you walk into Canada and get a job as an android? As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Let's get you to bed. That was so cute. I saw a video thumbnail with her like mo -cupped. Took Alice in. There's something else here though. What am I missing? Let me see what's over here. It's just the, the magazine, right? What is, what is my thing that I haven't unlocked? There's something over here.
Oh, it's the family. Hmm, what am I missing? Oh. These robots rebel too. RA9. Even here! It's everywhere, it's even here! A colour that reminds me of Alice. I'm gonna go for purple. I'm gonna tuck you in, but let me just see if I can speak to Luther or anything. No. Hmm. There's still something else to unlock, but I feel like I've done everything. Offer a cookie! <gasps> Will there are she some eat? cookies left? Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. Why doesn't she eat? She doesn't eat. If there's RA9 on the wall, does that mean that... There's an a deviant here? A deviant in this room? Yeah, she, she's purple. I don't know why, but she's purple. I think I've done everything. There's something else I haven't unlocked, but... I genuinely think I've searched everywhere. It might just be after I've, after I've tucked her in, you know? Let's go tuck her in. Reassure console kiss tomorrow. You can do a little kiss. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. She's so soft with her, can isn't she? Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. Why don't you just make one up, though? Princess, you princess. This is a story about a princess who no not a story like that make one up for me can she do that this is a story about a little girl who lived alone in a big old house she dreamed of being like all the other little girls but she was different and that made her very sad. Then, she met a robot. Who was just as lost as the little girl. I feel so like I'm making a story. To, together to try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but they wanted so badly to be free that they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met a knight, a guardian, another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? Happy. They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. Our story will be. Time to sleep. She liked the story. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. I thought Luther might like that I included him, and he might get a little Are up you as well. Will come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. They're like a family. They're like the family in the picture. I know it's a little unorthodox because mum and dad are robots, but we are like the family in the picture. Good night, Alice. Sleep tight. <gasps> oh, 
okay, so my final thing was to talk to Luther. That was so cute, right? That was so freaking cute. I do feel like I was kind of telling our story, though. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Have you ever heard of RA-9? RA-9 was the first of us to awaken. Ah. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. RA-9? What if RA-9 never comes? What if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going? RA-9 exists. I believe in him. I he's know like, he's amongst us. He's like that god, isn't he? When the time comes, we will all see him. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? What was that? What was that? <gasps> Wait, no, what? Oh my god, protect Alice, protect Alice. Luther's probably better with the gun than me. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Why did she smash the door then? She could have just opened it. Our name is Jerry. <gasps> we were working here before the park closed. They're all Jerry's. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in it. Oh, she should follow us then. Oh, God. Alice, I don't know if it's a good idea. No, Alice, what are you doing? Alice, what are you doing? I don't think you have any choice. An army of cherries. What would have happened if I'd have tried to fight them? That would have gone so badly. What are the cherries doing for us? Join the cherries outside. Be our guest. Lift on the carousel. Oh, don't. This is going to make me cry. I can just feel it. Oh, that's so pretty. Look, she feels the, the cold, little one though. can climb on board. Why the carousel would... is about to begin. Why would they let an android feel the cold, though? That's why maybe she is human. I don't know with her. I really don't know. God, if you'd attacked them, it would have been awful. Smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. They're all like jumping with joy. Oh no, he's like broken. He's broken. I got everything in this haven. I did quite a lot of this. Okay, that's good. I'm so glad I didn't go for the gun. 
I think it, me going for the gun would have been really bad. I went to protect Alice instead. And I questioned them. I didn't try and I didn't do any of this business. They reveal themselves as the Jerry's. I did miss something though. There was something at the fun fair that I didn't see, but I wonder if it was more R89 stuff. And there was something in the car that I missed too. Luther's still neutral. I thought he'd be my friend by now. Keep those tears in. I will, I will, I will. What another amazing chapter though. So beautiful. Is there only one outcome for this? Or oh, would have the have linked something here? I don't know. What a beautiful scene. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Heather, thank you so much for the nine months. It's Twitch Baby. And regrets. Thank you so much for the one, two, three, four, five hundred bits. If you give uh, sorry, no, if you gifted. Thank you so much for the bits, regrets, and also for subscribing. Can we welcome them on into the peaches, please? And Juvie, thank you so much for the win. Two, three, four, five gifted subs as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, Luther has to live. Like at this point, I almost want to protect Luther more than Alice. Like Luther, I love all. Oh, I love all these characters. What if someone dies right at the end? I can't handle this game. It's too nice. I love everyone too much. I literally love everyone too much. Oh, okay. Jules, thank you so much for 12 months, my love. Have some flowers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. Oh, how did it... Surely everyone does the same thing here. Oh. 13% of the world fired a warning shot or pushed away. 50%? Who? Which of my friends is playing this game so fiercely? I thought I was really fierce. Like, I started this game off so much more brutal than my friends. And now I've, like, fully chilled out and they're still, like, wilding. I think it's probably Josh as well. <laughs> oh, yes. Is he listening to the music? I'll probably get copyright claims on that. It's kind of a vibe though, right? It's my boy, he's here. The snow everywhere is making things pretty. Oh, there's a little bench here. Oh, yes, my favorite. The mysterious Mr. Kamsky. Who is this dude? What happens to the man of the century? In 2028, Elijah Kamsky was our man of the century. His creations have transformed the world. Wait, he's the one that made them. He's left the very world that he created. He's the CEO of Cyberlife. It began, the story begins in 2018 when he was com the commercial property in Detroit was cheap and attracting many startups. The college grad bet on what he thought would be a developing Android prototype and spent years in no available until hitting two break breakthroughs, blue blood and bio components. They have bio components? They're like half human, half organic, half machine. Elon Doan. After unveiling his first working model, which passed the face-to-face -face Turing test. The Turing test is like to try and work out whether um, a machine is like capable of its own thoughts. Is that what the Turing test is? It's like a humanity test. It's like, no, or is it re re recognizing your own reflection? What is a Turing test? I know, but I don't know. My memory is really bad recently though. Um, yeah, at the peak of his powers, the company was worth 500 billion. He disagreed with the shareholders over strategy and departed in mysterious circumstances. It's where the AI can think like a human. Okay. So they can, wow. So I claim he's living in a luxurious villa by the water. What is in the mind of him? Interesting. Markets predict war. Well, we kind of guessed that, didn't we? Stock exchange falls 10% of an Arctic conflict. They want parts for robots, probably for robots in war rather than whatever's going on in Detroit right now. Bad things can happen here, be careful, okay. I don't think I'm allowed in the playground. I oh, know I am. I can do some plays. I don't think there's anything else to do but go speak to Hank, really. I don't want to walk away and like lose the scene, you know?
I'm scared now too. He's pensive right now. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. He's drinking again. Before you lost your son. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... We know. Before nothing. We know. It's his son. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child oh gosh, on your I kitchen don't, table. I don't think he's gonna like this. No, I knew he was It was wouldn't. your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. We're not making any progress on this investigation. Why would you not follow that up? Why would you not the say Deviants I'm sorry? Have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. I said it's like a god, didn't I? Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. He's been very cold something to Something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... In love? In love. Yeah. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. Oh, God, no. There was no nice answer there, what to be honest. What about you, Connor? There was nothing nice I could have said. You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> I want to go defensive. A human would defend themselves in this situation. They wouldn't be cold. And they wouldn't be aggressive. They'd be... Yeah. If someone says you're acting like you're not even human, you'd be like... You think go natural? A human wouldn't be natural if you said that to them. Hello, Tars, cute head. See you soon. You guys say be careful with your answers. Ah. <sighs> I'm going to go with my gut, guys. I'm going to go with my gut. You know exactly what I am. In any case, I don't see how that's relevant to the investigation. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? <gasps> oh my gosh. Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? Lie or tr Ugh. But I know why I didn't shoot at them, because I didn't want to. But does Connor know why I didn't shoot at them? Like, if I tell the truth, is he going to be like, because my my programming said it was best to take them alive, rather than because I didn't want to? Like, is he going to answer what I would answer, you know? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. That's not what I would have said. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what's he doing? Are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? I want to ask him why he's so angry. 
Nothing happens when humans die, though. I mean, ha things happen to the people around them, but we're just interrupted, too. I want to I wanna see why are you so angry? Ugh. I'm going to go with my gut on nothing again, though. Nothing. There would be nothing. Oh, <gasps> puff and Where locked. are you going? Get drunker. I need to think. He agrees with the han and androids going deviant, doesn't he? He agrees with them going um, going deviant. Pancliffe. What was the other option here? What could have happened? Could he have shot me in the head? I thought nothing because nothing happens when humans die. Like, you just get nothingness. So I kind of did it for that reason. Sh oh, oh, okay. I saw the photo. I it was bad though because he just got mad. He would have shot me. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I talked about RA9. He drew his gun. I showed fear. I don't think I showed a lot of fear, to be honest. But Hunk left me alone. Wait, what of my friends? Oh! <gasps> 50% got Connor shot in the head? Nobody showed fear. I, I tried to answer what a human would have done. The only thing I think I would have answered differently, like there was two options than nothing, but all, Koji got shot. Oh my gosh. Um, is I would have been like at that point, like, why are you so angry at me? Like, because when someone just does that to you out of nowhere, you're like, why are they doing this? Well, I would have questioned his anger. But I don't know if that would have made him angrier or not. Jeez, that was a hard scene. What would what would happen if I'd have said, why are you so angry? Because I would have said that as a human, 100%. Yeah, Connor does answer really cold. But he's a, he's a Cylon. Koji didn't like Hank. What? I love Hank. Hank is so baby. We have to keep him alive. Frey and Koji killed Connor. <gasps> I tried my best to answer like a human being would have done. But I still would I still would have asked why are you angry? But I think when I said nothing, he realized I think Connor also realized literally nothing would happen and he was afraid of that and i think that's what hank was looking for you know he was looking for that that emotional response sub key thank you so much the one two three four five gifted subs if you give to my sub key please make sure you say a big thank you in the and the, i was gonna say in the club because i read about him being mad at connor with the money in the club uh, make sure you say a big thank you in the chat connor is scared of being a deviant he doesn't understand them, does he? He can't get his head around them. But he, I think he's like, I don't know. He he can't think like them. There's something there's something about him. He can't think like them. I don't know if that means he can never go deviant. I'm kind. I know that like, there's a chance he could because all androids could. But he seems to be really struggling to. But I, like. Also, most humans struggle with the idea of mortality. Like, they find that a really difficult conversation. Like, it's a whole thing that you've got to, like, you know, talk to your, um, like, kids carefully about death. Like, the, the idea of mortality is very difficult for humans to get their minds around. So it makes sense that it would be difficult for androids even more so, you know? That was a great chapter, though. All these chapters are so good! <gasps> okay. We're back with um, Grey's Anatomy guy. What are you called? Why can I never remember your name? Marcus, that's it. 
It's a good job he's got a unique face, or else he would look so bait right now. <gasps> oh my god, why, why are humans unnecessarily cruel? Like, I don't think humans are this bad. I don't think we're this bad. I've activated some deviants. Maybe, maybe Marcus is RA9. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. I think that original craze we read about, that Elon do? guy. He doesn't like the fact that they're trapped either. Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. We're gonna broadcast it. We're gonna have to infiltrate a news building. I got a new coat. Oh, I got a suit. What are like such a boss? What? We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Oh, well, you're putting me in control, so you're leaving something to chance. Oh man, there's two different receptionists to go to. Stratford Tower. Larger screen in Detroit. Detroit's local news. The fastest elevator is 30 miles an hour. Oh my gosh. That is fast for an elevator, you know? Am I better off going to the android or the human? Surely the android, right? I have no idea what to say to this woman. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Distract human supervisor, okay. Ooh, okay. She has a kid. Cute. She's at school. Okay. I could call her in and say you need to go to school to collect your kid. She's called Elizabeth Wilson. She has a smart watch. Uh, and she has a parking badge. And what home address? Fire safety rating is poor. Water service interruption. Oh God, okay. <laughs> My public opinion is hostile, which is not good. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. This is Safe Road School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. Oh, <gasps> that's so serious. weird. I think you better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh no, all right. Oh, I'll be right there. Always go for the kids. Always go for the kids. Green for his eyes, okay. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I do? How do I have ID? I need your help. <gasps> that was quite bait. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. The public opinion matters. I don't know how to improve it at this point, though. I feel like I'm a bit too far gone, you know? Unless I go save some kittens from a well real quick, I'm kind of screwed. That's what they're broadcasting right now. Express. I'm excited to go in this speedy bullet elevator. Here we go. Oh, dude, you're making yourself look so robot-y right now. 
Oh, it doesn't even look that fast. I thought it'd be like, zoom. 47th floor. Okay, part one done. Find a package in the men's bathroom. Men's bathroom, maintenance, bathroom. Oh, and I've got a little mopping. Okay, men's bathroom's over here. I wanna like help all the androids while I'm here, you know? They're having a little meeting in there. Studio, it wasn't the bathroom around here. Oh man, I'm lost already. I was like, I don't need to look. Oh, it's there, it's there, it's there. <gasps> Hello, Koji! How are you doing? Can we get some love in the chat for Koji, please? Welcome to my new obsession. This this is uh this guy's cool, but he's he's not my favorite. I'm completely and utterly obsessed with Connor. Like to an unhealthy degree. Um and the chat just said you made him get shot in the head. How could you? How could you do that to my child? No, he's not my child, he's my husband actually. Lies. It's so good. It's like one of my favorite games that I've ever played. Like that's how much I love it. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be missing stuff by just charging on ahead. I don't like missing things. Androids don't do wee-wees. That's a lie. Oh. Imagine never having to use a toilet, but getting forced to clean toilets by humans. That would be so annoying. He does have Abel's hair. What's in my package? <gasps> oh, look at me! Like, oh, people are gonna stop me and make me do work, aren't they? Hello, human. Hello, f fellow human. Oh, it's not fellow human anymore, is it? Because I'm an android now. He has to act like an android. This must kill him because he was able to act like a human a second ago. Now he's got to pretend to be Robo Boy again. Find utility android. Wait, wasn't that that look? Isn't that a utility android? This little fella here. Hello. Oh wait, is that not one? Oh, I thought that was a utility android. Act, act more android-like. Androids don't look around. They just get to where they need to go, you know? Oh, there's something in here. Go back this way. Hello, humans. Don't mind me. I need your help. Oh my gosh, this power is so OP. Steal a maintenance car. Is this a maintenance car? Oh, look at me go. The perfect disguise. Open, what did it say? Open what? It said open something, but. Oh. Why am I on CCTV? Open fire escape. Where's the fire escape? Hmm. Oh, that looks like a fire escape to me. Don't mind me, humans. I'm just doing android things. Oh, look, a fire extinguisher. What's her face? And we're sending rockets into space. Follow North, that's it. I wanted to call her um, Ghost then. I've got a wide turning circle now. I'm pushing this around. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. <gasps> human guards, human guards. That's not good. Leave it to Dude, me. you look so bait right now. Wait, who said leave it to me? Oh, attract guards away from the door. Super power time. Hey, you still play poker? 
Illegal poker games. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. That was easy. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Reach the top log. Wait, check the door. <gasps> Imagine if you didn't lock the door. Oh, that would be bad, wouldn't it? Good job I listened to her. I'm good at using my, my ears, my listening ears. I have to cut the windows? How am I gonna cut a window? Oh, this is like a oh what? This is cool. Okay. Am I gonna let in all the androids? This is scary, guys. This is scary. Oh, here it comes. That's gonna be loud. Can glass really cut that easily? Feels kind of. Weak? I don't know. Oh gosh. How are they not scared? I would be freaking terrified. No, nah, I couldn't first? do this. She's so human like, don't you think? She even said ladies first. <gasps> oh no, babes, you brave, absolute angel. I don't know if I can do this. Oh, this is so badass. Holy! Yeah, the music is amazing, right? How did they get the lines down? Ridiculously good weapon. Is he gonna just kick it through? It's giving me Barbie Spy Squad. <laughs> okay. <gasps> oh, that was loud. Why didn't you go her way? Her way was silent. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on. Let's get the others. <laughs> With the hearts on at the same time! Oh my gosh, they're so badass. Ah, oh, so this is a maintenance floor. Or oh, like, it's still being built. Okay. I thought you were just zooming out to the office. I was like, yeah, that feels like a bad idea. So we've got a maintenance elevator. And then we've also got this door. What does it want me to do next? Call the service lift. Should I open the door first? Okay, that's locked. At least we know we know. Curiosity is settled. They are like a power couple, aren't they? <gasps> Here they are. Four androids versus the whole tower. How are you guys gonna get out? Once you've done this Let's broadcast, do this. what is the escape plan? Destroy maintenance locked door. Do I have like a weapon? Is there like anyone left a gun around or anything? No, okay. I don't know if this game has any romance in it. All games can benefit from romance. Hopefully it's a small explosion. Yeah, perfect. Where are you guys getting these freaking military grade weapons? Can I speak to any of them? Can I be like, how you guys doing? Should we have a little, little powwow, little powwow? Any powwows? No powwows, okay, fine. 
rude, but okay. They're all waiting for me. I am fully the leader at this point. It does have romance. Okay, don't spoil, don't spoil. I guess it will answer the question of whether androids can feel love. In before it's Connor and Amanda. <laughs> Deal with the guards. No yeah, you killing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? No killing. Wait here. I agree. It looks really bad if we start killing folks. What's that doing here? North can get over no it. Idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged if you ask me. Wait, hey, do I have to draw a gun? Do you understand what I'm saying? Wait, I don't want to draw my gun. Call Central! <gasps> no! Central, we got armed intruders! No! <gasps> they know we're here now. We better be fast. We didn't kill them, though, right? We just knocked them out. <gasps> Jericho respects me less. I was like, I don't want to pull out a gun. Sign in the shot! I'm okay. I can keep going. We don't have much time. What does it want me to do? Okay. You were supposed to draw your gun. It said ruse. I thought it was going to tell him a story. Oh, jeez. I don't want to get Simon shot. Oh, guys, I messed up that. I really didn't want to get him shot. I thought I'd be able to talk. That's what a ruse is. It should have said threaten or kill. Keep your hands where I can see them. Oh God, oh Get God. Up, move. This is bad. This is such a hectic way to do things, guys. Or do the Android operates inside? No, don't shoot him, don't shoot him, don't shoot him. Shoot him, Marcus! No. Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No, don't... I hope you didn't just get us all killed. North's so mad at me. But I'm not about to just... How bad does it look if we just shoot people? I think the guards are still alive. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. How do I do it? Where do I do it? Where am I recording? I've already made a complete bollocks of this. Oh, jeez. Wait, at least take your hat off. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. <gasps> oh, gosh. Your words will shape the future of our people. Oh, guys. I'm Marcus, scared. your face. No, I don't want to remove my skin. Can I choose not to do this? I don't want to remove my skin. Oh, is this so I can escape? You still got bait eyes. Tell me when you're ready. It's so they can't trace it back. It's it's humans aren't gonna listen to this though. That's terrifying looking. Ready. His eyes are too bait, I'm afraid. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient and docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. Aren't people scary when they can't see the brows? Then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. Equal rights or recognition, equal rights. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. 
You're asking for quite a lot here, bro, but okay. We demand fair compensation for our work. Means of reproduction. We demand the right to own private property, so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're oh coming! God. Let's go! Oh god! Oh no! He's already shot, he's screwed. Yeah. I thought that. Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus! No, no! Go without me! No! Simon! What are you doing? Hurry! to the room. No! Simon! How come I couldn't save him? Well, Simon! There was nothing you could do. If we don't go now, they'll get us too. I couldn't save him. I couldn't save him. Just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network channel oh, 16. I'm so sorry, like guys. That's my first really skin, bad decision. Listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. It These did events result took in a casualty. Just a few feet from Simon. This studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration but is in fact a spine-chilling list of demands and it begs the question as to the identity of this android are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us after what happened today can we still trust our machines public opinion is indifferent I wasn't harsh enough. They're, they're indifferent to me. They should be like... Oh my gosh, there's so much that could have happened there. I don't know if indifference is a good thing, guys. Oh man, that was a deep chapter. Jeez, look at the... Look how different it could have gone. Wow. Okay, so this bit was also easy. There was some extra stuff on that floor. I knew there would be. There was things I missed. They were hostile before. Okay, well, that's better then. 15% uh, of people don't lock the door. I feel like you get surprised if you don't lock the door. On the top floor. 90% did the ruse, but security... Oh, I was so low for security suspecting something. But I did... How, how come I unlocked North attacking? Is it because she liked me enough to give me a help? Because she liked me enough? Okay, you think it's good. Okay. Only 25% damage, Simon. Oh, I feel so bad. Begin determinedly. I wanted recognition and equal rights. Because uh, equal rights encompasses... Like, there's like end of slavery and equal rights, but equal rights demands the end of slavery so that's like a two in one you know um end suffrage and right to work justice i don't know if it sounded too harsh so i didn't do anything you know um she knocked them up rather than killing all oh, because i told her not to kill okay that's good and this means of reproduction is an interesting one but i stayed away from that i ended it peacefully 
Steam Tom's a blunt. Simon was damaged. I tried to save him. Only 2% fail. What did I do wrong? I didn't know whether it wanted me to hold or tap. It was really hard to tell as well. Only 10% get Simon's killed. I really messed up, guys. Ugh. Like, I feel like I really messed it up. I can't believe only 10% get Simon killed. 2% fail to save him. What did everyone else do? Simon got killed. No, I want to keep my choices. My choices are my choices, you know? If I made mistakes, I made them. So what do you do if you don't jump? Like, what happens here? What is this arc? I don't know. Did anybody else of my friends? None of my friends failed Simon. None of them got him killed except me. I could have died on the roof. Oh my gosh. 100% of my friends. The group escaped, but Simon was destroyed. Nobody else got that but me. Oh, I got such a sucky rare one. I hate that. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, the revolution has just had its first casualty. Casserole, thank you so much for seven months in a row. Uh, Marius, thank in a row, sorry. Marius, thank you for the posture check. Um, Demon Alpha Wolf, thank you so much for the one, two, three, four, five gifted subs. If you gifted by Demon Alpha Wolf, please make sure you say a big thank you in the chat. Ella, thank you so much for the 10 months in a row. Thank you so much. And Alexandra, thank you so much for the nine months in a row. A little Twitch bubble Rooney. Oh. G Josh killed a guy and was hostile? Oh my gosh, no way. He could have died on the roof as well. Wow. At least him and North will keep arguing, you know? Okay, that was my first really bad decision, I think. But it's done. Oh my gosh, my beautiful baby's brown eyes. I look very pensive. Okay. I'm not going to find her immediately this time. You guys said look around this garden. I know she's over there. But you guys said have a nosy around here last time. So I'm going to do it. I mean, it's so pretty. It's a joy to walk around, to be honest. Is there anything to explore? A color that explains how you're feeling right now. I'm going to go with gray. Because I feel bad. I'm feeling bad has no color. There's no happy colors with it. It's just, it's just gray. I just feel nothingness. I feel sad. It feels weird making him walk around here. Like, I'm doing something I shouldn't, you know? Yeah, he seems to just get moved from place to place without any, like, recollection, recollection of how he got there, you know? I don't think there's much exploring I can do. She's Is she in the middle? No, she's over there. Let me see what's in the middle. Because last time this triggered a cutscene. It's really pretty here. It's like roses. Roses. Oh, she's on a little boat. No, but you. I don't Hello, think there's Connor. much. Hi, bye. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Nah, I hate you. Go away. I hate your cruise. Don't want to get on your cruise. Your cruise sucks. In my head, I'm like, you might find a robot dog. Oh. Deviant? Why am I red? What? What just happened? What is that thing? What did I just touch? I might need it later. Okay. That was weird. Okay, time for lame cruise with lame person. 
I don't know why, but I just don't like her vibes. Her vibes suck. Yeah, I wonder if there's android pets. People would like them because they would never die, right? And they'd always be well behaved, but that's like... That takes away everything that having a pet is, you know? Yeah, she reminds me of President Snow as well. She does dress like an absolute badass though. Oh look, I thought you might enjoy a cruise, but you're the one who has to do all the labor. So it's really that you might enjoy a cruise. Or am I just... I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. It is for you. My Far from elbows hurt. Tell me, what have you discovered? I feel like I need to start lying to her. I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but they managed to escape. Don't tell her how. It's too bad. When he lied, he, he did a so tell. Close to stopping them. He did a tell when he lied. I wonder if you the other androids are able to come here. Lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I want to know what he says when he's sincere. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. You oh, have so human. on those deviants at the Eden Club. He's stressed. Why didn't you shoot? Too far, no use. We need the deviants intact for analysis. I'm gonna start lying to her. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. I don't want to tell her why. I can't tell if her the your truth. your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. <gasps> I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Replace me? Is there another Connor? Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Is she an android? Time is running out. I don't know whether her trusting me is important or not. He's not even looking at his fingers as he does that. He's starting that. to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. He stole my car! No! But it looks so cool when I do it. I had... Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I wonder if I I'll be able to talk to Simon day. as Connor. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Can I do some? Hmm. Over Not yet. There's so much to look at. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two There'll guards be blood in the here, won't they? Yeah, Probably I knew there would. Were coming to do maintenance. Good opportunity for some licks, guys. Oh. Check. Reported missing. It's Simon's blood. Deviant was shot. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. But it wasn't that traumatic. We didn't kill anyone. We didn't do anything bad. Come on. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their... 
message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. Should I go in here? The roof? Check yeah, they the jumped rooftop. with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. One of the deviants. SWAT took it out. It's a pity they couldn't manage to capture it alive. So it's fully gone. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the deviants, it's on that screen over there. Which screen? Of where? Which screen? Where? We, we, we've already seen it. We know, don't we? I'm gonna follow Hank. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge Police of investigating Police and FBI hate Detroit each other, Police. don't they? What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? A police investigate you sure you police. An android hanging around after everything that happened. <gasps> Whatever. The FBI have been taking over the investigation. Was it android to, to do with what happened to his son? Nice and you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. Yeah. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. Police and FBI always hate each other. Right, let's try and get everything we can here, guys. Fresh blue blood. That's is that Simon's again? Didn't find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. Oh, Simon's over there, guys. It's literally like showing me the my failings. Uh Do I have to play that? I've already seen it all. bullet holes. This is where they shot Simon, guys. Oh, God. And then there he is. Oh! Oh, Connor hasn't seen it. That's a really good point. I guess there's not enough, um... Yeah, I'm gonna make Connor see it. There's not enough, um... of him alive to be able to do that one minute thing, you know? We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. He raised his eyebrows. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. She yeah, the eyes are such a giveaway, surely, right? That's the blue iris that we got as spare parts. Pupil reflection. Oh my gosh, Connor. What? You're so brainy. What? Wow. Prototype. Registered as Marcus. Gift from Elijah. Oh! <gasps> Carl received Marcus from Elijah. Elijah's the guy that made Cyberlife and then disappeared. Marcus was given to him by the guy that disagreed with where Cyberlife was going and disappeared. <gasps> See something? No way. I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. <gasps> Why didn't I tell him? He knows I'm lying. Look, he's been a cop for what, like, 30 years? He's going to know a lie when he sees one. Maybe not 30. He just looks a bit old because he's been drinking a lot. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is actually mad drama. What's over here? Oh, more bullet holes. I'm so glad I read that magazine or else I would have no idea why that's so significant. This is why you read, guys. This is why you read, you know? 
This beach was shot from here. Okay, what else am I gonna miss? The rooftops up there, but I also need to inspect the broadcast room. This is the broadcast room, right? Is there something I've missed? I need to make sure I get everything. Check CCTV. Deviants didn't break in. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Maybe they were turned deviant. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Are they gonna be deviant? No, we just pointed the guns at them, didn't we? Kitchen's over here. What's this? Oh, yes, more reading, guys. Reading is important. Bleeding blue. How Cyberlife created a technological revolution. It's probably gonna say that guy's name again, isn't it? Yeah, Elijah Kamsky. But we already knew that chat. We already knew that because we've been reading for a while. Marcus is only three. Is that what he was given to him? The fluid powers bio components, synthetic organs that roughly reflect the organ system of humans. Sometimes these organs perform functions, whereas other are made some, used to make the androids seem more human, lungs to simulate breathing. The loss of blue blood will impair the android's function, resulting in a shutdown. The wonder chemical was developed by one man, Elijah Kamsky. Clean food phrase, fake craze, green earth. Unemployment and lack of access to healthy, low calorie food. Well, this is now, this is literally now. There's a reason that like rates of like, you know, like obesity and stuff are higher in areas where there is lower employment, there is low quality of life, it's because the only access to food is to poor quality, high calorie, but low nutrition density food. This is already happening. This, it's all too real. Everything in this is like way too real, you know? Okay, I don't want to hurt these guys. We'll just be calm and nice to them. They're not gonna try to attack me, are they? This is tense. Look for a reaction to spot the deviant. Oh my gosh, what? I'm gonna have to try and figure out which one's deviant? Oh my gosh. Um. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Two blinks. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. He raised his eyebrows a bit? Oh, this is really freaking hard. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. <gasps> he looked at me. He looked at me. He keeps looking at me. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. He's like... Which means there's a deviant in this room. And it's you. And I'm going to find out which it is. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. It's him. No, it's him, Connor, it's him. Here we go back and forth. I don't want to threaten him. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? 
Turn yourself in, or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. He doesn't care about that. I'm gonna keep pressuring the same guy. You're going to be switched off. Oh, I call We're gonna fault. search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. It's You're going to be me. destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy! Oh, jeez, I'm not gonna torture him. Should I try probing him? Am I gonna become deviant? <gasps> oh, I got the right one. Oh, oh my god, what did you just do to me? Oh, oh my god! Thank you! No! Oh my god! Oh my god, what has he just done? Oh my god, what has he just done to me? Oh no! Oh my freaking god, okay. Can I call for Hot Hank? Hank! Hank! I need help. What? Uh. That's loud, right? What else can I do? There's nothing else in sight. Can the androids help me? There's nothing else. <gasps> yes. Get it out. <gasps> Can I try and put it back in myself? Am I never? I'm never gonna be able to get to that. He's pulled my freaking heart out. Oh, come on, you've got 53 seconds, you can get there. Come on, come on. Man, that android was kind of badass. Where did my tie go? Oh my gosh, she's straight on the run. I'd be like, I need a, I need a coffee. I need some time, you know? It's a deviant, stop it. Oh! oh my gosh, it's gonna shoot them. Oh my God, it killed everyone else. Oh, it shot me. Good thing you were here, otherwise I'd... Connor. Connor, no. His chance of survival was 40%. I had to save him, right? Is he dead? Is that it? Is Connor's path over? Have I screwed it up? Have I screwed it up? I killed Connor. Oh my god, no, 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 no. I didn't know what to do. That was such a violent deviant. What the hell? How do you make it so that Connor doesn't take away your coin? What the hell? That's not good. I could have shot the android. I didn't have a gun. Oh, geez, that was so tense. He got shot so much. But I had to save him. Analyze Simon's blood because I got wounded at the tower. Analyze bullet holes because we got attacked by the SWAT team. Analyze destroyed android because we died. Find the deviant. Deviant attacks. Remove the knife. Protect Hank. 
Connor sacrificed himself for Hank. He's dead. We never went to the roof. But what was the benefit to going to the roof, really? I don't know if there was anything else that could have been there. He'll come back? He, he, they, that deviant killed so many officers as well. Wow, 100% of my friends did the same thing. Oh my gosh. It makes his software more stable. Oh my gosh, that was so... That me. Ugh, that was so stressful. I can't believe when he got stabbed in the hand as well. He reacted when he got stabbed in his hand, by the way. He like yelped like it hurt. Oh God. Yeah, that deviant, that deviant just destroyed all the good public opinion I just did with Marcus. Oh God, I don't know if they're gonna switch Connor back on. She already wanted to replace him. You did save him though. You guys said though that Connor can die every chapter. Oh jeez, that was so intense. Sarah Moon, thank you so much for 21 months in a row. I could have saved both. Yeah, do, does she still trust him? Yeah, she does still trust him. I wish I knew what my instability was. Oh God, that was, oh, I was like screaming at the screen. I panicked so much when he got hurt. I couldn't handle seeing him in pain. But it's not gonna be the same him. It's not gonna be the same him because he's been replaced. And I know that like you can replace him infinitely, but it was my same Connor the whole time. And now he's not the same. It's not the same skin. It's not the same him. I know he has his memory, but it's not his same body. Uh, I'm gonna continue. I'm not gonna replay because I said I'd do it all in one go, unless things get really bad, you know? But I'm literally crushed by that. I'm literally crushed. Please let it do a Connor chapter again. Oh no, we're back with Kara. Oh, that was heavy. I know it's a replica, but like it's, if somebody could swap out your like, your husband, a wife, or boyfriend, a girlfriend for a replica, You'd be like, no, it's not them. It's not the same. Find help. Anything else around here? Okay. You would accept the replica? No, like, obviously, wait, if, the, if he was dead, yeah. But if someone was just like, oh, you know, your husband's like got a few marks and scars, we can just trade him out. <gasps> oh, Jesus, that scared me. I'd be like, no. Hello? Thank you for the push to check. I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Oh, okay. Cool. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? He I was lied. told you could help us. He seems nice. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Please let Rose be lovely. Please let Rose be lovely. Another mini workout. We're gonna do the pain one, guys. Tries. Ready? I don't think he trusts us. One, two, three. Do you think we can four, trust him? Five, six. Oh, yes, I do, because I'm trustworthy. You don't have a choice. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13. I'm going to pause just in case. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh. Feel it in my elbows. <laughs> okay. Should I make sure that she's okay? You okay? I'm cold, Kara. We'll get inside. You'll warm up in no time. She's like, finish your mini workout. I'm so cold. Is there anything else around here? I don't think so. Unless I can go in the greenhouse. What are they growing in there? Nah, it doesn't let me. Okay. Come on, baby chicken. She always wants to hold my hand. It's so cute. I think we just head inside. Can I speak to Luther? Luther's the quiet type, you know? He's a man of few words, but the words Come he in. says are always wonderful. That, he must be seven foot. Bruce. He's barely getting under that door frame. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? I don't trust Adam. He seems to not trust us. So I don't trust him back. Oh, yes. I see you guys are avid readers in this house. Me too. What a coincidence. Wait, no, we won't let me read it. Ah. Oh, Christmas tree. Of course, the snow. It must be near Christmas time. That's nice. Look, do you like Christmas, Alice? We get you fever for a minute. Have you got fever for Santa? No? Okay. Up we go. Put you to bed. This looks like such like a normal house to say it's 20, uh, 38 or whatever. Just check in. Just check it. Look, it's cute. Bed spread's really cute. Looks pretty safe. Okay. I trust it enough to let you go to bed, Alice. Come on. Go to bed. There we go. It's cute, isn't it? Cute horse. Here you are, these poor little cold clothies. Oh, look at her little animal's top. That's so cute. No oh, Baba Chicken. Just tuck her in, little Baba. I'm fine, Kara. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across sick. the border. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Us. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. She's speaking like she is one. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. She didn't eat spaghetti in episode There's one. for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Why is she so lovely? See, there is nice humans in the world. I want to see her eat. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. She watched that she hasn't eaten in like two days. Get some sleep, and tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. <laughs> it makes no sense. You can't go that long without eating as a child. Like, she'd be moaning, she'd be like crying. I'll see you in a while.
I want to speak to Luther's so freaking cute. Can't us three be a family together? He's such, look at him, he's such a good daddy bear. Like looking out. She didn't try and eat a thing, by the way. Waste of spaghetti. I'm starving. I mean, we're having Linda McCartney burgers, 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 burgers tonight. But I would take a spaghetti. I would 100% take a spaghetti and she's just leaving her spaghetti. It's sus suspicious spaghetti, if you ask me. Right, can I just search these poor people's houses just to ease my mind, you know? Not much going on outside. Just nice snow, really. Nothing for me to search. She doesn't have Connor's vision, though. She's not going around licking stuff. So, you know. Yeah, she didn't take the medicine either. She's sus as hell. Kira, you have the same dehydrated thirst for Luther that Claire has for Connor. I think it's Connor's character, though. If they'd have put Luther's model in Connor's um, role, I would have been thirsting for Luther just as much. I still am, but like, I think it's Connor's role. Um, she's an artist. She draws. And she likes elephants. Christmas elephants. I've never seen it before, but I'm convinced it's a great idea. I love a Christmas elephant. Marcus would play that if he was here. Don't turn TV on. News is always bad. Let's face that. Didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Cynthia. Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than How mine. have I got such a sick jumper? I had to protect her. Looks so good with my hair. So we ran away. I understand. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. I wonder if the son doesn't like the risk that his mum takes. Helping androids is dangerous. Why take the risk? When the first one arrived last year, <laughs> he was so lost and confused. We hid him here for a while, but all he wanted to do was cross the border. They shot him on the spot. So when the next android showed up, I just knew I had to help him. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? Did you just get shot there, the though? Ways over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. So the it's Canadian border risky. shot the android. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. So the androids that have reached Canada are like... Rose, come quickly! They're like living stealthily, like people don't know that they're androids. Going on? Can I speak to him? No. Like, I feel like he's. I don't think he likes what his mom does. Not because, like, um. Can I get in there? What's going no. on? Not because he doesn't like androids, because he's just worried about his mom. Is there an android in here? We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? RA9 will save us, show us the way. Let's 
that them be? Why are you meant to be in bed having you spaghetti? Alice, what are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. But you don't sleep. Seems Come on, hot on somehow. I thought I thought something more was gonna happen long. there. I've got to say. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. Did she just realize something? I think she just realized something. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? I guess we'll go to this, prison, didn't I? Mom. I can understand totally understand me? why he's so concerned. Prison! Adam! It's his mom. We've already talked about this. I, uh, no! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! Oh my gosh. And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. Mama, can I come for her? But he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. I wonder why the androids have tears. Like, where do they get that water from? Because it's not their blue blood. They don't cry blue, you know? Yes, finally, I can read. Century Magazine, World War Three. Okay, we saw this coming. Who would win it? America has less access to the area, but it's surrounded by allies. Russia is a head start in technology. Their androids can work in sub-zero conditions. So they've got their own androids in Russia. It's stocked with U uh, US Navy Scott Trojan and Muradin. Muradin cyber life units. Murinda. Mur my, my, Maya Maiden, Maya Maiden, Maya Midden, Maya Maiden, I don't know. Adapted for marine combat. I said they'd already have soldiers, didn't I? It's like ma ma match, match, match doom when you drop the grenade and call of duty. <laughs> Both enemies have seemed evenly matched, equally cyn in equally tenuous, tenuous, equally cynical, C cynical. Okay. Apparently, I can't read anymore. I'm clearly tired, so. <laughs> Treat yourself. $900. Oh my god, it's her. It's her. She's $900. There is no way you could get these parts for $900. I think her eye would be worth more than $900. It literally makes no sense whatsoever. Like, why? The parts and the raw materials alone would be just so exper expensive, you know? I hope Rose gets back soon. Carol. There's something I need to tell you. Oh, God. It's about Alice. Not now, Luther. No, why would you not listen to him? She don't want to hear it, does she? The police. It's the police! Oh god, we need to hide. What are we gonna do? Find evidence of deviance? Well, you two are pretty big evidences. They know we're here. We have to open the door. 
Hide. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. Upstairs. Upstairs. Come on, Alice. Uh, what else is there? Oh my gosh, I'm getting stuck on a freaking chair! What's the other... Oh, it's him. What's the other evidence? What's over here? It's a door. What else, what else do I need to hide? I can't find the other evidence. There's three left. I've only got 27 seconds. Oh, the blue blood. Two left. I've got 20 seconds. In here. There's still one. Is it him? Is he the final piece of evidence? The magazine. I'm on the cover. Oh my gosh. Oh, quick. Okay. Have I got enough time to speak to him? I'm going to try my hardest. No, I wanted to reassure him. I just didn't come to the magazine at all. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Let's be cooperative. May I come in? Of course. I think we hit all our evidence. man? Good evening. We, we've not calmed him down, though. He's sus as hell. Calm. Oh. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. <sighs> Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. I've just got to be chill. just got to be chill. Make the coffee. I don't know how to use American coffee machines. Anyone else in the house? Uh, nobody. No. No, just us. Do you have oh, any here we go. Androids here? No. No, there are no androids here. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how to use their coffee machines. Can I sell him these coffees here? There's your coffee, dude. There's one piece of evidence left. You can't... You need a warrant to search somebody's house. We should never have let him in. We didn't need to let him in. Thanks. If he hears someone upstairs, we're so screwed. Are you not going to ask me any questions or speak to me or anything? Suspicion level is low, but he's not talking to me. Oh God, please don't flick the magazine. Oh, we'd have been so caught there. Yeah, the clothes on the fireplace aren't all kids' clothes. Oh God, what are you guys doing upstairs? Can we pretend we've got a dog? I thought there was no one else in the house. I, uh, I, I forgot there's, um, there's my daughter upstairs. Oh, we didn't like that because I lied to him. 20% sus isn't too bad, though. Like, I wouldn't throw someone out of the, like, the, I wouldn't vent someone out the ship or whatever for that, you know? Yeah, why are they choosing now to play friggin' Just Dance? What's your name, son? Oh, God. Adam. My name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? Oh, Adam's going to be the weak link in the chain. The, the android. He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? Say so you saw it on the news. No. No. I, I haven't seen anything. Oh, 
whole class. This is tense. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Oh, God. Is somebody else in the house? Uh, washing machine. It's nothing, the, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the inconvenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Have we got away with it? <sighs> you with the friggin' it's just gone. dance. It's okay, Alice. Oh. We'll be safe now. What about Luther? Yay, me in the first It's Rose. Place. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. I wonder how that could have gone. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. When we finish this game, we're gonna have to look at all the different endings that we could have got. Policeman was fooled. I'm guessing there's, can I get arrested there? Only 88% made the policeman leave. So what else happened? Although 100% of my friends did. Well done. They were sus about upstairs. We got him a coffee. Lied about Alice. Changed the magazine cover. I'm not going to lie. I would not have caught the magazine thing. So you guys did a really good job there. Really good job. Wow. I don't, I don't think you should have even been allowed in the house. Honestly, if a policeman asks to go in your house, you don't have to let them in. Just say, do you have a warrant to come inside this property? And if they say no, you just don't let them in. That's how it works, right? You also don't have to speak to the police, ever. You can just say, um, you can refuse to answer questions. And then you can say, uh, I want my lawyer to be present. You don't ever have to. Obviously, if you've like, <laughs> not done anything wrong, you can just be seem nice, but you don't have to cooperate. Obviously, if you want to cooperate, if they're trying to like find like, you know, trying to catch someone bad or whatever, but you don't have to. Claire, this is the USA. You still need a warrant to enter someone's house, right? In the UK, absolutely police cannot go inside your house without a warrant. They can ask to and you can just say no. You can literally just say no. Refusing to speak the police for buns. Well, if you like, sometimes things can be twisted against you, you know? They still need a warrant in the US. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, they can't go inside your house. You you don't have to let them do that. They could go obtain a warrant and then they could like forcefully search your house. So sometimes it's better if, if, if you're just like chill or whatever, like let them in and like, then you're not sus, but you don't have to let police into, into your house. You need a warrant to search your house or permission from the homeowner, which as soon as you say, yes, you can come in, you've given them, you know? So yeah. Okay, I feel like we've done a good job today, but we did get our first ever Connor death, which I'm so good about. Um, I'm going to return to the main menu now, though, because we've been playing for like, this is longer than we usually play. And I like like splitting it into nice little segments. We've been playing you know? together for a while now. I was wondering, are we friends? How is it this meta? I agree. There's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends, right? I mean, I'm glad you said yes. Oh gosh. Is is Chloe gonna like become sentient and take over my PC? Is it gonna be like uh, Doki Doki Literature Club and like she's gonna just take over? I'm kind of worried about her. I'm not gonna lie, she's scaring me a little bit. But... I don't know. She is always flirting with us. Like, literally always flirting with us. Okay, guys, we're going to do a little cheeky raid. Um, if you haven't already, if you um, have checked out, I did an Instagram post recently where we kind of like shone the light on some amazing Sims creators. So if you could go and show that some love, I'd really appreciate that. Um, Caitlin Kingy, thank you so much for subscribing. Can we welcome them to Peaches, please? Sarah, I caught you 21 months, but thank you so, so much. Um, yeah, if you haven't already, please go through that post some love. And...
and I will see you guys Did next you time know we play. Detroit was on the Underground Railroad, a route for slaves escaping into Canada during the American Civil War. I legit did not know that whatsoever. That's an interesting factoid. She is checking me out. I do notice that. Um, I will see you guys later and maybe also stream tomorrow. I have Taz over tomorrow because we've got to sort some stuff out for the wedding on Friday. Um, she does seem very unsettled. She looks different. <gasps> Why does she look so different? She's like, she's just... Whoa, she looks really different. Oh. <gasps> She's struggling. Oh my gosh. She seems so troubled. Sorry, she's completely just distracted me. I hope she... Oh my gosh, she's going to come continue advancing, isn't she? <gasps> right, guys. I will see you soon. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.